heaven. And tonight we're going to actually take you into the courts of heaven and have you experience how to break the assignment of witchcraft that is coming against your life. If you've been battling frustrations, anger, uh, disappointments, oppression, depression, uh, fearing who can you trust, who can you listen to, um, wondering how in the world can different things happen? How can they shut down voting in five states and when it's not going their way? How can they shut down social media and shut down freedom of speech? How can they even manipulate even in the stock market and all these different things that are happening? And now we're in this impeachment uh, uh, trials and they're manipulating videos and different things are going this way and that way. And you're asking yourself, what in the world is going on? It's because there is a major attack coming against not just the United States of America, but the whole global world in regards to this one simple word, truth. Truth is trying to be stolen from you because when you don't operate in truth, then the truth can't set you free. So tonight we're going to actually get a word of the Lord and actually walk through together, breaking that assignment of global witchcraft. It's you got to get it's bigger than what's happening in the United States. This is a globalistic spiritual attack. Remember in Ephesians, it says we battle not against flesh and blood. This isn't about people or parties, but we battle against powers, principalities and heavenly hosts in dark places. One of the best weapons of spiritual warfare to keep you in a place of synergy and health is really following in liberty through Yeshua as Messiah, the Feast of the Lord. So we're preparing right now for Purim that is coming up at the end of the month, but we've just published a new book today. In fact, it's hot off the press. And if you'd like to order it, you can go to clmmin.com forward slash spring feast. And you can see it right here. This is a uh, biblical study of Passover and Shavuot. So it's, and it's beautifully done. It has questions and answers in a place where you have notes. It has instructions. And one of the reasons I want you to go ahead and order this book today, first of all, we'll run out of these really quickly, but there, here's the nine blessings of Passover. These are things that, that we can renew and do together. But the reason I want you to get this book is because I believe that one of the keys to overcoming in modern times is the mysteries of ancient of days. <clears throat> I'm going to say it again. I believe that one of the keys of overcoming modern day spiritual warfare is following the instruction of ancient of days. And this booklet will do that for you. So you can go to CLM for those on the podcast, clmmin.com forward slash spring feast. Also, uh, I want you to be able to follow our podcast. If you want to follow our podcast, you can just go to CLM and go to kurtlandry.com um, uh, and uh, go to the resource tab right there on the top of the bar. And as you go down, you'll see podcasts. So go clm.com, kurtlandry.com. Let's see if I can put that up here. Find it on my screen here. Yeah, there it is. So for those of you on podcasts, it's C-U-R-T-L-A-N-D-R-Y.com. Go to the resource tab. And when you get to the resource tab, you'll scroll down and you'll see podcasts. Everything I'm going to teach tonight is in more length and more in depth in the podcast talking about the power of unforgiveness. The enemy is counting on you not getting the mystery that we're going to reveal today in this uh, broadcast today to you. So that's I want to get that to you. And uh, those podcasts are free for you to download. You can print them off and use them to help build strength for your family and build strength for yourself and your walk with the Lord. So we're gonna go ahead and pray right now. Father God, in Yeshua's name, we call on the angels of the Lord. We call on the heavenly host of Israel to be around this broadcast. Lord, canceling every assignment of technical uh, uh, disruptions and mental disruptions. And Lord, I just thank you in Yeshua's name 
that Lord, you're going to put it on people's hearts to share, people to follow, help build the uh, algorithms of this ministry so we can get more of the message out, but also Lord, to be able to share so other people can be set free from this horrible global assignment of witchcraft that's coming against believers right now of the whole body of Christ, it's coming against it. And Lord, we're going to break it off us tonight. If you would say amen, go ahead, say amen in the comments, please. And also let me know where you're watching from. You know, one of the things that I think people forget sometimes, but right now we are going through a huge spiritual testing period. Why? Because we're moving into a new era. Anytime you move into a new era, there's tests. So we're in a testing time right now. And the Lord is, so to say, He's, uh, we're at a threshing floor, it says biblically, where the winnowing fork is coming and it is throwing the wheat up in the air, separating the wheat from the chaff. And of course the wheat is taken and made into the bread of life and the chaff is taken away into a pile and burned. We're finding out who the sheep and the goats, all that separation is taking place. And that is happening right now as I speak. The difficulty is that when you're, it's hard to learn lessons when you're taking a test because the lessons need to be learned before the testing. If you remember when you were in school, maybe some of you are still in school, but when you're taking a test, it's hard for your brain to be able to say, okay, now what did I learn about this? Or what am I supposed to learn while I'm taking the test? Now what witchcraft does is it creates voices uh, through the root of bitterness, through jealousies, fears, pride, anxiety, all those doors that can open up in our life and it creates a small whispering spirit. And it's not, it's not even something you can really hear. It's more of a feeling and it's an occult witchcraft structure because we know that if we can, if we start to, so to say, eat of that tree of bitterness, we start hearing things that, that make us short, make us angry and confused. And then we make bad choices and guess what? The cause and effect kicks in. And the next thing you know, we're doing, saying things that we don't wanna do and say, that's where we are right now. So let's enter into a time of peace. Let's enter into a time of joy so that we can overcome Satan by the blood of the lamb. Amen. Say amen. And the word of our testimony. So I'm going to start my teaching tonight on the witchcraft cursing. And the reason I, I put it in witchcraft cursing, because you need to know, and I'm not here to glorify the occult and witchcraft but all the hexes and vexes and things that they put on you and I and on different ones, uh, you know, there's visual cursing that happens that that's what you'll see through some of the television and the, and the, and the different media that's happening. It's subliminal and it, but it's still making an impression, but the main occult structure, what they do is it's perverted from what God does. They speak out over us. They speak words out, they speak curses out, and people say, well, that doesn't have any power. Well, they do have power, but the, we have, what we have to realize is that we have been given authority by the Lord to speak. We're the only species on earth that can create words. Lord said, let us create man in our image. He's given us dominion. Jesus came, he died, and he says, for I have given you my authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and to destroy all the works of the devil. How do we do it? No different than when Jesus was tempted at the Mount of uh, Temptation. He quoted Deuteronomy to Satan. He said, man does not live by bread alone, but every word that comes from the mouth of God. So even Jesus himself, when he wanted to overcome Satan, he spoke words. And that's why when Satan wants to overcome God's people, they speak cursing words. So we're going to break every assignment in the courts of heaven of cursing words that are coming against you and your family and we're going to break it so that they, what, we don't have to hear it or feel it or interact with it anymore. If that's you, go ahead and say in the comments, say amen. Amen. Now, the first thing I want to talk to you about, and I've got this in my podcast, is how is unforgiveness holding you back? And, and, and one of the reasons I, we published this podcast, and I want you to, to go there, go to Kurt, KurtLandry.com, go to the resource and download to podcast and you'll see it it talks about is unforgiveness holding you back and the reason you, I want you to get that podcast and I want you to get it right now and I want you to print it off is because we are literally in a time right now 
of faith reward. The faith that you have demonstrated in this last season of time, God is wanting to financially, physically, emotionally, in every way he wants to do exceedingly abundantly above all you could ask or think. He's wanting to heal you. Okay, and and the, and he's wanting to prosper you and add no sorrow to it. But yet there's this huge witchcraft attack that is trying to steal our joy, creating oppression. And we can't receive when we do that. And it usually comes through doors of unforgiveness that are holding us back. So if you would go ahead and say in this, listen, I'm preaching to me and I'm preaching to you. This happens to every human being that. We have to be diligent to show ourselves approved, okay? So the question tonight is, how do you and I, how do you break through and break free from this unforgiveness? And the key, <coughs> excuse me, is to close every door. How do we close every door? By repenting and forgiving. If we'll repent and forgive, we can close the door and then these, these voices these feelings and these decisions, they can't come into your life. So that's what we're going, to, we're going to do tonight. So one of the things I want to talk to you about is this is not a snowman over here. Kind of looks like it, kind of applicable for what we're going through here in Oklahoma. But this is an eight. Number eight is new beginnings. So go ahead and put into the comments tonight. Say, I am ready for a new beginning. And the way new beginnings happen is I've got an H here. This is heaven. And I've got an E here, and this is earth. And anytime there's new beginnings, we have to connect in our life, our earthly life, to our heavenly reward. And that's when that which is in heaven will be found on earth. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come from heaven to earth. And that's what we're going to do tonight. So what the enemy tries to do is basically, if I can do this, he tries to disconnect us like that. If you can see that, he tries to disconnect so that everything that's in heaven stays in heaven and everything that's on earth. And what happens is when we repent, we reconnect heaven to earth. So one of the things about the power of repentance, and I'm gonna go into our teaching through Acts, apply, change, and transform. But I wanna read you the 10 the 10 blessings of repenting. And repentance should be a lifestyle. Number one, tonight, we need to renew our minds. Amen? We need a baptism of fire in the Holy Spirit to renew our minds. If that's you and you're, and you're where you can put the comment, say, Lord, renew my mind. Go ahead, type it in, Lord, renew my mind. Second is we need to hear the Lord's voice. The scripture says, my sheep know my voice and they follow not another. So we need to say that before we even repent, say, Lord, I am your sheep. So just go ahead, put it in the comments. I am the sheep, okay? Third is freedom from the guilt of sin. See, all the doors that are open for unforgiveness is when most of the time when you and I don't forgive ourselves or we don't forgive others. Jesus said, as we forgive those who have trespassed against us, we will be forgiven, okay? Eight, at number four is the new beginnings. So what we're gonna do is we wanna connect heaven to earth. That's going into the courts of heaven, which we're going to do this evening. Uh, five, grace, we're gonna break every chain I want to believe God that whatever this unforgiveness chain that keeps pulling us back into where we're vulnerable to this attacks, let's break the chains tonight. Six, after the chains are broken, Lord, we ask in Yeshua's name, release intimacy with God, that, that peace, even in the storm. Lord, you don't have to stop the storm, but overwhelm me with your love and presence, and I can endure any storm. Amen? Inner peace is number seven. Father God, in Yeshua's name, we release that inner peace. Eight, new beginnings. Lord, any delays that have been caused in the last week or two because I have been trapped and snared, I have spent more time fighting than praying and praising. If that's you, go ahead and say, Lord, restore me. There'll be no delays. Go ahead and say in the comment, no more delays. Number nine, joy. 
The joy of the Lord is our strength. Go ahead and put in the comments, say, Lord, I need joy. And 10 is healthy relationships. We need the Lord to break this witchcraft assignment off our relationships with our marriage, with other people, because the enemy always comes when he comes with witchcraft to divide and conquer. So let's go ahead and we're going to apply the word of God. We're going to get instructions of what needs to be changed and the power of the Holy Spirit to transform. And we're going to start this process now, but we're gonna actually do it in the courts of heaven. So if you'll follow me in, in my prayer. Father God, we come to you in Yeshua's name, and we thank you, Lord, as we enter your courts with thanksgiving, we enter your courts with praise. And Lord, we decree this is the day that the Lord has made, and we will be glad and rejoice in it. And Father God, just cleanse us with the blood of Jesus. We repent of all sin from the top of our head to the bottom of our feet. Lord, we put on the full armor of God as we come into the court of mercy, Lord. We gird our, our waist with truth. We prepare our feet with the gospel of peace. We put on the breastplate of righteousness. Thank you, Lord. We are kings and priests according to the order of Melchizedek. Thank you, Lord, that we put on our crowns, our helmet of salvation. Thank you, Lord, that we... Take the shield of faith and the word of God now into your mercy courts. And Lord, we thank you that this word shall not come back void. Lord, we lift up our families. We lift up our friends and everything that is attached to us relationally. And Lord, we decree and declare and thank you in advance that every witchcraft, hex, vex, and curse, every bale structure that has come against the body, which we are a part of, we're canceling it off us now in Yeshua's name. We decree that mightier the he that's in us than he that's in the world. And Lord, we walk in unity and faith. Your word says where two or three agree, there you are. Father God, we agree. Go ahead and say in the comments right now, say, I agree, I agree. I, there it is. I Go ahead and say, I agree. Give it a thumbs up. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. That's good. Come on. I agree. I agree. I agree. There's power in agreement. People are agreeing from around the world right now. We are coming in agreement in Yeshua's Yeshua's mighty name, the name that's above every name, the name in which every knee shall bow, the name in which every tongue shall confess that he is the Lord. Now we're going to start out. This is really simple. This is not a hard thing. Say, I can do this. And and because you're smart, you can do this. Hebrews 12, 14, and 15 says this. So Father God, this is our first decree in the, in the, in the courts of mercy. We're going to put God into remembrance of his word. And your word says, Lord, pursue peace with all people. Father God, in the name of Yeshua, I dec decree and declare, I release unforgiveness for all people that have ever hurt me, known and unknown in my memory bank. Father God, what I have forgotten, what I have remembered, I choose. It's a choice. You put it before me today. And Lord, as just judge in the court of mercy, I ask you, Lord, and I decree that I will decree. I will be at peace as of right now. I take the gavel as of right now in Yeshua's name. I'm at peace with all people. It's not a feeling. I choose it. I speak it with my mouth and my heart shall follow. I am at peace with all people and holiness uh, and in holiness without no one will see the Lord looking carefully, lest any fall short of grace. God, lest any root of bitterness spring up and cause trouble and, and it may uh, become defiling uh, to many. Lest, so Father God, we just right now, we repent. Here's the key. We repent of any any root of bitterness, bitter words we've spoken, things we've said, unsaid, thoughts or deeds that we have said in bitterness and anger. We're not even blaming it on the witchcraft attack. We take full responsibility for what we've said, thought and have done. And we repent before you. We ask you, Lord, in the court of mercy as the just judge, let all words, action, and deeds, Lord, all the way back to our birth, all the way back, Father God, any place that we have spoken out in bitterness, anger, jealousy, pride, fear, doubt, and unbelief, anything that we have spoken, let it be recorded, Lord. Let the blood of Jesus come in an expunging way, removing from our book 
all things that have been said, Father God. We're not even going to blame the enemy. We're not, but we're taking full responsibility. Go ahead and raise your right hand and say, Lord, I was wrong. Lord, I was, I am guilty. Lord, I am the just judge in the mercy court. I need the blood of Jesus to expunge every thought, everything said and done. Cleanse it, Lord. Cleanse it, Lord. See, this witchcraft attack is going to be taken care of by the by the Lord. And the, what the key is, is if you'll draw an eye unto him, resist the devil and he'll flee. Let the Lord take this out. This is way bigger than us. But we need the effects of this off our life tonight in Yeshua's name. Come on, if you'd say amen. So now we've got that done. Now, what do we have to change? Isaiah 55. Let's see, 55, 7 through 11. If this is helping you, go ahead and say, this is helping. Hallelujah. So Isaiah 55, 7, 11. This is what we must do. Let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man is thoughts. Let him return to the Lord. Say, Father God, I'm returning to you now. See what repentance is, repent means to return to the pent or pent house. Return where I'm at high, uh, the highest place of God. Lord, I am returning to the highest place where I was in the Lord, in Yeshua's name. And it says, and let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy on him. Thank you, Lord. Say, I receive mercy right now. And, and Lord, thank you, Lord, that I that he will abundantly pardon. Go ahead and raise your right hand and say, I, I receive. Go ahead, say it right now. Say, I receive pardon. I am expunged. I am pardoned. The accuser of the brethren cannot wage war against me and say I'm guilty because I have come to the throne room of God and the mercy court of the just judge, and I have asked for forgiveness. Now, Lord... Go ahead and lay your hand on your head, write this and say, Lord, I need new thoughts for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor my ways, your ways, says the Lord. For as heaven is higher than the earth, so my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Father God, go ahead and say this in the comments, say, Lord, release your thoughts and your ways, higher ways, your thoughts and higher ways in the comments, your thoughts and higher ways in Yeshua's name, amen. Thank you, Lord, we received the blessing now, for as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and do not return there, but they water the earth and make it bring forth a bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater, so shall my word that goes forth from my mouth, it shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing which I sent it to do. For you shall go out. Say, Lord, I receive it. You shall go out with joy. You shall be led with peace. And the mountains and the hills will break forth in singing before you. And the trees and the fields shall clap their hands. And thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Instead of thorns that come up, the cypress will come up. Instead of briars, the myrtle will come up. And it shall be to the Lord for his name, an everlasting sign that the enemy has been cut off in our life. And Lord, I change, I apply the word, and I change to believe that report because the word says, go ahead and raise your right hand. The word says, in whom's report, Whom's report will you believe? Say, I will believe in the court of the Lord. And I want you to keep your hand up and I want you to decree these words. Don't just listen. Even if you're on the podcast, go ahead and say with me. Number one, his word will get results. His word will furnish tools and resources for everything I'm called to do. His word will meet all my needs according to his riches in glory. His word will perform his will in my life and not fail in Yeshua's name. His word will satisfy my soul and restore my life into justice and liberty. It's not about a party. It's not even about a government. 
It is thy kingdom come, thy will be done in this earthen vessel as it is in heaven. Say, I seal it in the courts. I seal it in the courts. I believe it, I receive it. I believe it and I receive it. Now the transforming power is in Matthew <coughs> 6, 14 and 15. Sorry, getting a little fired up here. I always plan on delivering this really like calm, you know, I just wanna bring it, but the fire of God hits me. And then, you know, those that like to be critical enjoy taking those fiery times. And I watch him and I go, my gosh, even to myself, I look ridiculous, but <laughs> I can't help it when the fire of God comes on me. I mean, it's just like, if you were burning up, like I, I bet you if you took my temperature right now, I'd probably be up. Oh man, the Lord's good, amen. So here's the, here's the key right here, the transforming power. We applied his word. We've agreed with the changes that we're gonna make and how we believe and the transforming power. Matthew 6, 14 and 15. Hallelujah. Here's the question. You wanna light the fuse? You wanna blow up all the witchcraft coming against you and your family? Light the flu fuse, so to say, throw the grenade, pull the pin out, this is how you do it. For if you forgive men their trespasses and your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. So we're going to agree right now. You can't touch and agree, so we'll just raise our hands. Just raise your right hand again. Say, Father God, I seal this work. And thank you, Lord. You are freeing me from all hexes, vexes, and witchcraft curses. I am free from the snare of the fowler. Thank you, Lord. I am learning my lesson in the midst of the test that the key is love and forgiveness. It brings new beginnings. It connects heaven to earth. That that which I speak and say in Jesus' name, will come from heaven to earth. My provision, protection, identity, and peace comes from my heavenly Father. And he is instructing me tonight to forgive all men. I publicly, even in the comments, decree and declare, I choose to forgive all men, women, any person, even myself, that has hurt me, I walk and decree, let it be recorded in my books, in the courts of heaven. Heavenly Father, in your mercy court, your word says, draw an eye unto you in this mercy court. I resist the devil, he's fleeing from me, but let it be recorded in my book that my family is off limits to the accuser of the brethren and the witchcraft hexes and vexes because of the blood of Jesus. Lord, I have come to you as my just judge. I can't fight these battles on my own, but I can fight them through you. And Lord, let it be recorded in my book that I am delivered and let it be said in heaven about me. Let the redeemed of, of the Lord say so in Yeshua's name. Hallelujah. 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 So I want you to go ahead. I'm going to just came hot off the press. I want you to go ahead and get it ordered now. They just came in today. But if you'll order them now, order the spring feast Bible study of Passover and Shavuot. I believe these lessons of ancient of days, as you participate with us, are going to set you into a new era of a new beginning, finding your Hebraic identity as one new man, blessing Israel and blessing yourself. So go to clmmin.com forward slash spring feast, forward slash spring feast. And also, if you would, Go to kurtlandry.com. Go to kurtlandry.com. 
There it is. Go to KurtLandry.com, open up the web page, slide over on the bar to the right, and you'll see the resources. Click on that resource. You go down to the second key there on the resource, and it says podcast. One of the other podcasts I want you to download is called The Secrets to Overcoming, and it's seven ways to build a harvest of the Lord because God is pouring out a blessing and then unforgiveness. Do not let unforgiveness stop you from overcoming. Those two podcasts, very well written, very well done. All the points are made and let's walk through this thing together. So go to Kurt Landry, C-U-R-T-L-A-N-D-R-Y.com, go to the resource tab, go down to, to the podcast and download those free podcasts and feel free to print them off, send them to your friends. And before I get off, please hit the like button on our Facebook. If you would, please hit follow and let's build this, this story back. Let's be free. And I'm going to seal this work right now. In Yeshua's name, we decree and declare we are free from all occult structures and curses, not just in our family line currently, but all the way back to the garden by the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that we have been set free and we are free to prosper, free to have health. But most of all, freedom, we have absolute freedom to be healed of the Lord and to prosper. We thank you for it in Yeshua's name. Thank you, Lord. And you should Oh, I'm sorry. It's not uh, in the resources? In the resources. the blog tab on resources. Oh, it's the blog tab. I'm sorry. My office just called me. I'm telling it wrong. Go to the blog tab on the resources. It's the blog, not podcast. I'm sorry. It's the blog. Everyone's going, no. then it'll be calling our office. I apologize for that. So go to the blog tab on the resources. Yeah, I'm not the podcast. Okay, thank you so much. And for those of you that would like to sow a seed today, you can do that. You can go to Kurt Landry, go to clmmin.com forward slash donate, and you can help plant that seed in good soil. Now, tomorrow night, I've got a special gift for you. It's going to be exciting because we are iced in here. And the roads aren't so bad, but our parking lot at House of David is an ice skating rink. So we, <coughs> we don't want anybody slipping and falling or having an accident. So we will be having Friday night, 7 o'clock Central here from our house, and you can have Shabbat with us. And basically, this is what I need you to do to prepare. Get a candle or a couple candles, because we're going to light the Shabbat candle, speak the blessing, okay? Get your shofar. We're going to blow the shofar and pray for the peace of Jerusalem and do as we do at House of David Persecuted Church. All the walls are going to come down. We're going to get a word from the Lord. And then after we get a word from the Lord, I want you to get some anointing oil. Get your anointing oil. So we're going to anoint with oil. If you have a tallit, bring your prayer shawl or your tallit and have that tallit ready because we're going to pray under the tallit and we're going to blow the shofars and get your kiddish cups and get some matzah or crackers because we're going to take communion. So that's tomorrow night on Shabbat. So we'll have a Shabbat service from the Landry's house to your house while we're all here and safe in our homes, warm and cozy. And we give the Lord thanks for that. But Lord, it'd be nice if you could send a little sunshine into Northeast Oklahoma because we are frozen in, I can tell you. But praise God, he is good. I want to thank you for all your love and all your support. And, and all that you do. Hang on. Hang on one second. Okay. So here, I'll tell you how to do this. Watch this. See, this is what happens when you have technology, and old people. Ah, oh, here it is. Hey, I just wanted to show you how easy this is. Your uh, person you're talking to, the people, your audience can go to KurtLander.com, go to the resource tab, select the blog, and then they will find 
all of your recent blogs where they can click read more. So as they say, right from the horse's mouth to you. So that's how you do it. Praise God. I know that was tacky. We're not calling Megan the horse. Megan's the CEO of Kurt Landry Ministries and our daughter. And she's not CEO because she's our daughter. She is because, see, she knows how to do everything. And we don't. But anyway, I do want you to have those blogs. They're excellent and they're very well done. And the thing that's good about having them written in front, you can write notes, print them off, and it helps reinforce the teaching that we're doing. And uh, we're trying to coordinate. The, the, and it's hard for my staff. They do a great job. Listen, I'm following the Holy Spirit. I know this witchcraft. I got a call from a very high level ministry and they were telling me what's going on. And after I've had four or five calls and experiencing it myself, I said, we got to break this. So the Lord said, I said, Lord, how do you want to break it? He says right here. And so anyway, it lines up perfectly with our teaching. Anyway, God bless you. Hit that share button. Remember, hit the follow and let's build that Facebook page and follow us on Facebook if you would like to and on Instagram. And uh, we just thank the Lord for you. God bless and shalom. Love you.